This is a traditional close contact jumping style girth. Problems with these girths, this girth's nickname is a knife edge because when you do this up on your horse, the only portion of the girth that's actually contacting the horse and distributing the pressure is this thin strip of leather running right down the center of the girth. This is what we call a single-ended elastic girth. There's elastic at only one end, and it's solid at the other end. You can see there's no elastic at this side. There's only going to be give on one side, which means in a horse whose shoulders are already uneven and has a saddle that's not quite right, this is going to help to pull the saddle out of balance. Knife edge girths can also be in synthetic materials. This is not leather. You can see that there are no roller buckles. That's just flat metal which puts more stress on the billets of your saddle. And this is double elastic instead of triple elastic, which means that it will stretch out faster and lose its elasticity, which this one already has. Ta -da. Ta -da. This girth here is one of the more modern day jumping girths. This is actually a custom girth. However, it shows a contoured shape, which means that it's slightly wider over the horse's sternum to help distribute pressure, and it has a slight cut back behind the horse's elbows, which helps to increase range of motion, particularly in our jumping horses. We have roller buckles, and we also have, again, that contoured shape that helps to distribute pressure across the horse's sternum more evenly, and some elbow relief. Now, you might be saying to yourself, sure, that's great, but that's a $350 girth. You can also buy an inexpensive $19.95 double elastic roller buckle girth with a synthetic sheepskin lining, which is great for schooling. Some people even use them for shows. Most important thing when choosing your girth, again, elastic at both ends and roller buckles.